Hey guys, welcome to Bloomer Farm. We are making another water for the chickens. We use these 55 gallon drums, which we find on Craigslist or Facebook Marketplace or something like that. Um, they're pretty inexpensive. And what we do is, you can see this is upside down. Um, so this normally comes like this. And there's a little rib there and we cut just below it. Um, it's not an exact science, but uh, that seems to work pretty well. And then we flip this over and the way it's convex there, this sits pretty nicely on the top there. So you gotta spin it to where it wants to sit, settle down. But And then we just uh, use a grinder with a sanding wheel on it and sand the rough edges down. And uh, I'm working on building a top because what we found is the chickens like to sit on top of here and poop. It doesn't uh, really matter because I tighten these pretty good. So nothing's gonna get into the water and make the water dirty but it's nice to not have a mess. So working on that, but um, we have one of these in the chicken coop now and they work great. We put a little stock tank heater in there and uh, we put the chicken nipple drinkers in the bottom. And that's what I want to show you here. Um, it's super easy. I mean, this whole setup, I think the, the nipple waters cost like maybe, maybe 20 bucks. You can probably find them on Amazon cheaper than that, but uh let's just say 20 bucks for a, a pack of 20 or a pack of 10 something like that and um we take this this is like i think we paid maybe 20 30 bucks for this barrel so uh for 40 dollars, you can have a 55 gallon water which will last for uh depending on how many chickens you have we, we have a little over 100 chickens and uh the one 55 gallon drum lasts us about a week i think that's rough all rough estimates uh, but we want to be able to have a little bit more uh, leeway here because in the winter time it's a pain in the butt filling these because we don't have hydrants or anything so we do it all by five gallon drum or five gallon buckets um, so take the top sand everything down make sure there's no sharp edges because they can be really sharp and then um, flip this over tough doing it with one hand here so you see the mark on the bottom here we just mark mark out the lines you can kind of see where i started i drilled one hole already um it's a 5 16 uh drill bit and then these are the little nipples that we put in there so they screw in into the hole here let's see one-handed here and um they work pretty well they do they do uh break from time to time and then you have no water left because all the water drains out so i keep a bunch of spare on hand uh just to be able to change out it's a pain in the butt in the winter but it's uh it's nice to be able to have that easy inexpensive water system um so you just basically take this and uh let's see we'll go over this one Oh, already drilled that one. So that, that one's drilled there. We have one on either side. And then go to the corresponding side here. Let's see if I can do this one-handed here. Uh, so just drill that hole nice. Make sure there's no uh, pieces on the edge or whatever. And uh, 5 16 drill bit. It doesn't need to be exact. I just marked this out roughly by eye. Um, I like to go an inch and a half and measure an inch and a half down uh, so that there gets the most of the water. There's still a little bit of water left in the bottom when they uh, run out, but it works okay. And um, I put, I can't remember how many nipples on each, but I just kind of did one on one side, one on the other, four, six, eight, probably eight or 10, I think. Um, and that uh, gives them plenty of opportunity to drink all around it. And so we'll, we'll make this other one. I make a base out of uh, out of these cinder blocks and pavers that I get from Home Depot. They're really inexpensive as well. Um, and so we'll do that. Put the stock tank heater in there. And we got an extra, we'll have 110 gallons of water in here uh, that doesn't freeze during the winter when it gets cold. Right now it's we're in a cold spell. It's, um, in the twenties during the day. So it's, uh, pretty cold around here, but makes it nice. And then this way too, if one, if one breaks and drains all the water, we have, we have a backup. So, 
uh, what do they say? One is one is none and two is one. So we're all into we love we love redundancies and backups, and uh, we love being able to do something that's not expensive and and gives a lot of bang for the buck here. So uh, I'll do a little recap here. This is how we make these, and I'll do a little recap of putting it in there. Not recap, or shoot another video of uh, how we're putting it in there. I'm also going to try to shoot a video of uh, of making. I got an idea to make feeders, kind of a little similar idea, a bigger hole, a hood that goes in, and um, they can then have 55 gallons of feed, which will probably be, I don't know, uh, 320 pounds, something like that. Um, I usually fit like. 380 pound bags don't do math on camera um but uh yeah that's uh that's what we do for our waters and uh this water works out really well for us inexpensive cheap way to water your chickens during the winter or i mean it works in the summertime too but uh, great inexpensive way to water your chickens um and turkeys for that matter <laughs> turkeys like it too so Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, one of these days I'm going to figure out how to put um, the Amazon referral link. So if you want to buy the chicken nipples or the other parts that we that we use here, um, we can make a tiny little commission on that sale uh, from what I'm told. I haven't done it yet, but uh, appreciate your support. Appreciate you watching, following along for what we're doing. Uh, thanks so much. Like and subscribe and uh, we'll see you in the next one.